Welcome back everybody. It's Jeff, aka The Log Father. I'm waiting for a customer to show up for lumber. I gave them a time between 9 and 10. I don't know what happens to other people's clocks, but it's 3 minutes to 10 and she had texted me and said that she's still an hour away. So I've got firewood to make and firewood to split. So I don't know if you, like me, you're waiting for someone to show up and you can't seem to get anything done in the meantime. I'll be pacing around and um, splitting a little wood and then looking over my shoulder to make sure I don't miss them coming in the yard. But maybe I should sharpen some bandsaw blades or chainsaw chains or something in the meantime while I'm waiting. So it's a effort in frustration. I just want to show you a couple of things here. And these aren't my most popular videos. I understand it completely. I'm completely aware of product review videos and how people feel about them. But Blue Eddy, once again, I alluded the other day, they had sent me another solar generator. I've got both of the ones that I have here. They're both uh, very, very similar, but I want to just go over a couple of the differences between the two while I'm waiting for this lady to show up. So I'm going to turn the camera, spin it around, and you'll see um, you'll see some nice things here. If you're interested in this kind of a thing at all, I think it'd be well worth you taking a peek at. So I put these fellows on my back of my ATV. I'm going to use these this morning for um, for what they're intended for. <laughs> in in all honesty, this is the original one that they had sent me. This is the AC200P, and this is a, a 2,000 watt inverter. It's got six 120 outlets. It's got four USB. It's got a, a nice touch screen. It's got a 12 volt outlet. Um, two of the five millimeter uh, pin style. Another 25 amp output here so you can run your camper off it. And this was the state of the art. This was the cream of the crop. Um, in my opinion, the best one that, that Blue Eddy was selling for the homeowner. They sell a big stackable unit as well. This is their, what I call their middle of the road product. So up until now, I've been using this one, the older one, just about every day. I use it around the sawmill. I use it to run the blower if I only have to mill for a couple of hours. This will run my electric blanket that I have. Uh, it's a 12 volt electric blanket. It'll run it about 35 hours. And that will also run a CPAP machine for about 35 hours. You'd never use it 35 hours straight, of course. The capacity is very, very similar to these two machines. This is their latest one. This has got a, a 48 volt, 8 amp output. This has got a 12 volt, 10 amp output. This has also got my favorite feature. One of my favorite features is it's expandable, which means we can put a separate battery on that. Um, this is our AC input and it's a threaded lock that, uh, that fits on there and it fits securely so it's not going to vibrate out. This has the external brick charger, this fellow here, the older one, and that will, something else you have to carry. This one here only has a small cord that plugs in and it's a proprietary cord. It's not a, like a, a computer monitor cord like their the EB3A, their Blue Eddy small uh, generator has. And it has this ubiquitous 12 to 145 volt DC or PV input. Input, PV stands for photovoltaic, so solar panels, basically. But, but this uh, this battery connection here is brilliant, in my opinion. So we can stack batteries uh, on that. I think it's a wonderful idea. It has a 30 amp output that would run your RV, run your air conditioner for a short time four 120 instead of the six 120. I've never actually had six things plugged into this. So this is oodles. This is oodles. So this fellow here has only one USB-C 60 watt outlet. And it, this one has two USB 100 watt outlets. This has got two USB-A outlets. This has got four USB-A outlets. So as more things are, are converted over to USB-C, it just makes sense that that's the just a regular evolution of that. If I were building a camper van today and I wanted to have, let's say, here's a perfect example. My son has got a Toyota Tacoma that he uses for camping, takes his family camping, um, and he's got a Volkswagen camper van. And instead of him building a standalone system for each of those vans, that's two batteries, two controllers, two chargers, two everything that you need to run both those camping systems, he could have one of these and pick it up with a with, with a handle, take it to the, the other platform so he doesn't have to worry about um, building in a complete separate system. So his fridge can run off of that same system. 
his water pump can run off that same system regardless of where he's at. And it can take it in the house and run his fridge for hours if there was a power outage. If you lived in an apartment, you lived in a condominium, and you wanted to make sure that your fridge didn't die, you're not allowed to have, I suspect anyway, you're not allowed to put a, a generator on your on your deck to, to keep that charged up. This unit right here would be the unit that I would, that I would probably buy for that. Um, if you've got a medical device that you can't live without, CPAP machine I think is, I'm not sure if you can live with or without them, I'm not sure, but that seems to be the most common question. Can this run a CPAP machine? This will definitely run a CPAP machine. The small generator that you've seen will run it about three or four hours. This will run it probably, well, mathematically, 30 hours. You should be able to run your CPAP machine off of this machine. And I looked up online, CPAP machines run between 30 and 60 watts, typically. So not a lot. You should be able to run a long time on this, this machine. So, Plus, if you were to pick up a couple of solar panels, if you had a multi-day power outage, you could charge this back up with your solar panels or if you had a vehicle and you went for a drive somewhere you could use the 12 volt outlet in your car to charge this back up while you're traveling somewhere else you don't need the CPAP machine and you don't need to run the generator 24 hours a day on your refrigerator or your deep freeze it only needs to run till it gets cold and the compressor shuts off and then you can unplug this for a couple of hours charge it back up in the sun this will also accept 1200 watts I know it's crazy 1200 watts of solar input so you can charge this up in a hurry the specs say one thing reality says another i had this down to 20 percent and i plugged it in the wall put it on turbo mode at 20 percent, it took 40 minutes no joke to bring it to 100 percent, and that's faster than the specs actually said that it would it would be for so i use this this one here this is the one i use all the time take this in the woods with me when i go to my camp this one here is my, the new and improved one. This one might actually stay at my off-grid cabin. I'm not sure. This one here run, will run my chop saw, my circular saw, my uh, small air compressor, my pancake air compressor. And it'll run the circular saw and the pancake air compressor at the same time without any effort, without blowing a breaker. And keep my phone charged up. This fellow here has got two wireless chargers on the top to keep my phone charged up. This doesn't have any wire, wireless charging capability. I can live without that. That's fine. But this will run all of my 12 volt outlets. This will run anything in my camper van that I need to run. This will run, this will do it uh, just fine. So, and if it was poor quality or if I wasn't happy with it, I'd, I'd be completely 100% honest. And the company has been stellar to deal with. I've never had an issue. Big thing I use this for is to warm up my big diesel trucks. So those Cummins that I run, I run two of them. I got a 6.7 and a 5.9 Cummins. The 5.9 especially when it's, say, below minus 10, even below freezing. I'll plug it in for a couple of hours in the morning. And this machine here will run that 800-watt heater for about two hours before it's to the point of needing to be recharged. And I'll charge the, or I'll heat up the engines with the, in the block heater with these as well. I also uh, will run the air compressor on this when I want to blow the dust off of my sawmill or off my firewood processor. So they'll also run my chainsaw sharpener, my <laughs> chainsaw gr chain grinder, or my sawmill bandsaw blade sharpener. So in reality, two of these are overkill. But this fellow here, where it's got the 2400 watt charge capability from the AC power, if you were to patch this with a small generator. We've got a Yamaha 2600 watt generator that in 40 minutes would bring it from 20 to 100 percent. You would burn very little gas in your gas generator to keep this battery topped up to 100 percent. It's it's a brilliant little system and you've got to use your common sense of this isn't going to replace a gas generator. In Just face it, you're never going to be able to get the, the life out of this that a full tank of fuel in my 2600 watt Yamaha generator is going to produce. But then again, you don't have to listen to this run. You only need this when you pull the trigger on a saw where the gas generator is running all of the time. So when that generator is running, I'm using the energy that it's producing to run the tool, but also to charge this back up. So this will also run my small uh, water pump that's in the house. So there's, there's benefits to gas generators and benefits to these, but 
I think if you can learn to pair them together, uh, it, it's the best of both worlds. And uh, this is the nighttime silent, the silent feature. So anyway, that's a, about all I can say about this for now. You're going to see this in action. I've got to clean the snow off of my truck. The lady came, she bought 300 board feet of uh, pine, clear pine boards that I've got milled. And she wanted to take them home in the trunk of her Toyota Corolla and I wouldn't let her. It'd just be, you know, that would be way too much for her little car. So I'm going to clean the snow off my car. It's supposed to be above freezing tomorrow. So Monday, I'll, uh, this is Saturday. So on Monday, I'll deliver them to her. So, um, but that'll give a chance for that old green truck to stretch its legs once or twice there this winter. I don't really drive it too much in the roads, but if the roads are dry, don't mind it a bit. Anyway, I know well aware that product review videos aren't everybody's favorite, but just hang in there. We'll be making firewood again Monday. We're going to be sawmilling another day coming up pretty soon. And we'll get back to the things that you're, you're actually subscribed to this channel for. So thanks a million, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Over and out.